Okay. Uh, oh no, what is going on with my stream? Ah, it says it's unstable. Why? What's going on? Ugh, this is after a bad start. Uh, a little my end. Oh no, that says X. Okay, I'm confused. Well, anyways, we're back playing with more Hogwarts Legacy. Coming to the part that I stopped at, I realized I did a little bit more than what I've done now. So let's just continue. We found a book last time. The hidden section of the library. Huh. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rebellion. Rebellion. Makes no sense. Oh, hello, it is you too. rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. <laughs> Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. Yeah. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair <laughs> enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? <laughs> hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Glasses are ridiculous. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, <laughs> and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. All right. Ooh, that's a ton of EXP just from going over here. <laughs> all right. Uh, what's next then? I'm gonna have to. Oh. Pretty far away. <laughs> ah, I've not been over here. Perfect. <laughs> Alright. I didn't track it. Okay, that's annoying. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Huh. Ah. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. What? Wait, uh... I'm wet, okay. Ooh. 
Okay. Side quests. So I'm going down there. Alright. What? Okay. Okay. Dungeons? Planet camps? Ooh. Okay, a bunch of stuff I can do. Interesting. Washed up there, but eh. I'm gonna get a broom, because it looks like I can get a broom. <laughs> ah, stop walking out of the pots. Rebellion. Now I can actually go and open up a bunch of those chests. I couldn't do before. Okay. <laughs> yep. Something like well on me somewhere. Revelio. Turns off. There it is. XP please! <laughs> I'm gonna get a ton of those now. In here is luck. Darn. Where do I get on the phone? When do I get to those? You try to study in the library at least. Good on you for stopping that troll. Jeez. Welcome, I guess. Whoops. I can swim in this game. Did not know that. Rebellion. down here. I just want to explore. <laughs> wow. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Chest. I've run a coin. Coins though. Money. A hundred dollars. Whatever. <laughs> Oh, you want to measure? Well, measure. You don't measure money. <laughs> Rebellion. Oh, you want to say it? What's all that stuff here? Oh, how do I unlock a little a one lock? What are you? <laughs> it looks like it can eat me. Something I clearly can't do just yet. So I'm able to like grow a bunch of things here as well. Which I'm going to assume is how I uh Morning, craft. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Craft certain oh, potions like my healing you one. Need these for today's class. Uh, um uh, a little treat for your auntie. Class, please welcome the newest rose <laughs> in our garden. These glasses are ridiculous. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the belting bone. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Oh. Is that the thing that screams Let's right? see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> I don't think I don't know. First, 
Let's protect yeah. our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Yeah. Jeez. Like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair. Oh, that's handy. <laughs> I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. <laughs> okay. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting Dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with her. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knot grass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the magic neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Yeah. Let's see how All to right. balance my staff this little arrangement. Like, fancy like a, okay, or roses. Yeah. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Pardon me, Professor. Not what I meant. What am I supposed to do with the Dittany seeds? Your part in all this floral alchemy is simple. Take the seeds to your potting table, plant them, and then wait for harvest time. It's not what I meant to do. Okay, jeez. Ten minutes. All right, yield five, okay. Done. Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld Potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some <laughs> plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, <laughs> and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. <laughs> it's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can tell. Jeez. Hello. Yeah. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. Okay. Chinese chomping cabbages. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Ooh. Excuse me. Don't mind if I do. Sebastian. Ravelli is <laughs> good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright Ooh. slaughtered him. Nice. Outfit. Level seven. This will be level. Oh, yeah, level 11. And a better rarity. Yeah, I don't even get to see them. <laughs> uh, okay. Brilliant. Oh. Well. Wait, was that a page I just saw? I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't mm. stopped me. I guess not. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. 
We Gryffindors fight with honor. Revelio. <laughs> and uh, Ravenclaw's too. At least you did. <laughs> At least you did. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. I almost lost a thumb once. Don't worry, that's Blaney put it back on. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Jeez. Why don't you just, just have teeth? Revelio. Rebel, please. Or not. Whoa. What's that? Wait, okay, then tap. Look at that. That's what meant they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Hmm. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing <laughs> bulbs. The kind of plants that just have what, their back so in the fight. Just do damage for me? I'm not saying you can't <laughs> go it alone, but... Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Okay. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. <laughs> Trolls and hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and death cap has more of them, if you're keen. <laughs> death by vegetable. <laughs> Once your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. Oh. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Oh, it just exploded. Huh. Revelio. Well then. These doors are still like, locked. I'm assuming they. Wait, can I get through those eventually? Hopefully. This door was locked before. Okay. Reminder as to why we should all wear our dragon hide gloves. Okay, so <laughs> something to fight from me. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, <laughs> Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. <laughs> Okay, much of plants. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bad like subject. <laughs> tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Alright. So, will I need to keep, like, planting these? I hope those mandrakes are really relishing I need to keep, like, planting them. Only cost me my damned hearing. To make any soup, we must first understand it. I just want to wait for this to do soup to its day. Do I have any? No, I just no collections. No. Should be in here, maybe. Hey, here we go. Hey, we got three destiny leaves. Alright. A whole bunch of things here. Including cabbages. <laughs> uh oh. A wand handle. Oh, what's happening? Ah <laughs> It's glitching out. <laughs> oh boy. Why is this so I don't understand. Why is there so many bugs up to this year? Wait, this is just the first bug I found. It's been like over a year since this game came out. Oh, buggy. Huh. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't know if it does anything. But I got flying mounts as well, dang. Ooh, can I like tame stuff eventually? Ooh. Kindness and concern are as necessary in the greenhouse as in the great hall. 
Alright, um... Rebellion. Does stuff, like, respawn here? I just get, like, free stuff. <laughs> if you can, give it a... Oh, what did the new use? So wait, like, wait, do I have to purchase more seeds every now and then? I know again. Okay. I want to run off to. Ah, oh, too far. I'll oh, be back to this thing. Apparently, well, there's something below me somewhere. Rebellion. Only over here. I've gotten everything. Remotely everything. Someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. Professor Black was never allowed. It was making it completely incompetent. Oh, I got some potions. Nice. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Okay. <laughs> huh? Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Huh. <laughs> All right. Pretty simple, to be honest. How much does that make? I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients Andrew? you need in my yeah. office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Huh. Okay. Nice. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. Ah. I'm Gareth, by the way. Mm. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. <laughs> but she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply uh. need a single fooper feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. No. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. 
You won't. No. Oh. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. Oh. I've enough to worry about collecting the ingredients he wants me to get. I'm afraid I can't help you. I understand. I'll sort something else out. I am not doing that. Your potion should not. Wait, so what am I... Oh, okay, that's it. That's one of them. What's the other? Remember, oh, I already have one of those. Is key when proficiency in potions I already, already have some of those. That cannot be rushed. I think. Have patience and be thorough. Huh. Honkulant juice. Okay, whatever I get that. I've seen that. Ooh, yeah. Wield one. Okay. Hopefully that can actually like get better. I'm assuming I'm gonna be back here lots of times. Which kinda sucks. You have to go one better place and make some stuff. Ah, I had to purchase recipes. Okay, it makes sense. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, uh -uh. it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Dragon dog. Fireworks. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor. Again. Okay. Oh, where is he? Okay. I brewed an Edoras potion as you asked, Professor. Glad you managed to stay on task. Not every class is so eventful. I saw Mr. Weasley speaking with you earlier. He can be quite persuasive. Glad you managed to resist. You've done well today. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Oh, so wait, I can just do that on the fly? Oh, there we go. That'll each be of handy. Us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Oh, nice. Oh, my robes are going to reap from inspiration for the rest of term. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> you can change direction midair. Uh, ooh, where am I going? Uh, look at our map. Oh. That's where I'm going? So there was... Hey, what's this? Ooh, that would be pretty good. What's this one? Uh, ow. Dang. Okay. Spell combination, okay. You have to, okay, by rolling. Oh, okay. Huh, crack. Man, that one's far. Now, was it two pinches of Angelica? Black Revelio. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why. Oh, looks like I'm gonna throw those cabbages out. <laughs> I don't know how that door opens, but okay.
something down here. Aha! Another one. Revelio. Oh. They're right next to each other. The one up there. Oh, nice. Ah, oh, darn it. Up oh, by 14, dang. I'm so close to level 13, actually. Like level 1. How do we get like that? Oh. Rebellion. That sounds close. There. Oh, well. Through the wall, that's what that sounds like. What's in here? Oh, chest. Ooh. Free potion. Oh. I have to hide from that thing before going up to it. Aha. Uh -huh. Revelio. I just came up here. Ah, oh, lock level one, darn it. I'm just exploring. What are you? Levioso. Whoa. Come on. There you go. Not what I meant. Nope. Let me use it. Akio. Ah. Well, that's not creepy at all. Get up there, come on. Thing out. Uh. I mean, I don't know where we're supposed to go, but geez, that's annoying. Where am I going? Oh, cool. Ooh. Okay. Here's lots of full. Revelio. Ooh, 
if we, sorry, what? <laughs> okay. What? Uh. Oh, I'm gorgeous now. One by one, nice. Now oh, they're just different color. <laughs> of course they are. I just get eaten. Alright. Well then. Where am I going? Went oh, the wrong way around. So it looks like I heal all the time. Can I just like bring it over here somehow? Revelio. I don't even know how. I would do that. Whoa. Okay, it seems like I'm not even allowed there. I don't even know where that bell went. Where did bell go, anyways? Oh, found it. If I just leave it there, and then that did not work. to get it up there. Okay, so that's somewhere. Revelio. Uh 
Aha. Man, can't get in there. Wherever there is. One up, one to go. Revelio. I don't even know where that would be. One up, one to go. Yeah, I don't even know where that would be. Don't tell me you're just gonna keep saying. Oh. Can you? There, I have assigned it. Okay, dang. The stupid thing is broken. There. Jeez. Get it. No way. Rebellion. Hmm. Oh, this is going to take a bit. Annoyingly. Oh, so I have nothing to, uh, uh, what do you call it? Nothing to stop me from going any, any places. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Okay. Weird. More locks. Okay, so it seems like I regenerate health over time. Because I'm back at full health. I'm not doing Moonstone, anyways. Hmm. Huh. I'll find out later. More stuff. I'm assuming there's more moonstone, right? I need just like pick it up. Oh no, I have to use it. Hmm. Oh, oh, that one had two in it. Revelio. All right. Oh, this is quite a walk. miss anything, do I? No. Still not much to miss. <laughs> yeah, not much to miss at all. Revelio. There's nothing for it because I'm too far away. I don't know. Revelio. All right. Ooh, what's this? Froze. Bag. There we go. 40 HP more. Nice. Uh, what was that in? Some gloves. And it 14. Dang. Level 9. Though. I wonder why. Revelio. Miss Capri. 
prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Ooh. Oh, you. Thorn cap? Oh. Right, exactly what I need. Oh, you. Rebellion. Lumos. Levioso. Okay. Accio. And on it. Rebellio. Yeah. Whoa. That's weird. Okay. Whoa. Revelio. <laughs> Wrong button. Very dangerous. I'm not careful. Huh. What's that mean? Got that dark stuff on it. Whoa. Well, at least I got stuff to make more, um... I already forgot what it was called. <laughs> uh, some more of my healing potions. Wait, so I assume, yeah, it's in here. Okay. Hmm. Alright. I'm curious, is there any things that are like, supposed to be grown? All the things I was growing beforehand? <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. I... What does that mean? I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us, which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack, and I shall never forget watching Serona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. 
I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. All right. I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? Does not sound good. Kill the fish. Uh, I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. I walked into a bad it's box. It's like a place right out of the storybook. What? Oh, there's a cauldron here. <laughs> Bang. Your slots are full. Okay, what happens to that? Um. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello, I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. What do you have for sale? Huh. Okay, I can what sell can I a help you with today? Just stuff. I no longer need. I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. <laughs> Why he buys this, I don't know. He's a potion shop. Sell stuff. Actually, these do take up slots. I hope to see you again sometime. Revelio. Wait, so then where does that go? Or is, it, is that just gone? Huh. <laughs> the invincible cow. Revelio. Walk into the barrel and it doesn't look split. Just walk into something explodes. Archie, I don't have time to argue. I've told you repeatedly not to stray far from home. Especially when I'm inside with your little sister. But you should see them, Mummy. They're beautiful. <laughs> don't tell me. Don't, 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 don't look in. Okay, I'm just trying to take this. Thanks. I'm too tired for your stories today. You stay right here where I can see you. Aww. Revelio. Why don't you do some more drawings? Dong dong, dong dong dong, dong dong dong. I'm sorry. Sorry for barging into your home. It's t taking things. Six. Up by four. Oh, There's a ton of defense and stuff. I don't mind if I do. Ooh, I have almost four thousand dollars. Okay. I don't know where those went. I geared so I couldn't carry. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? What can I help you? <coughs> hmm. Ah, yes, a wonderful choice. I will take those. So this and this. 
And I also need to go to a to see you again sometime. Two big more questions. Rebellion. Nice. It's a side quest over here. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ramrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Hmm. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was okay. nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. Yes. Hmm. Revelio. And that uh, looks like it's inside. Uh, one lock. Yes, go, let's go for it. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. Whoa, enemies, enemies. Whoa. Ooh. Rebellion. What was that? Akio. Rebellion. Akio. Useful. Guess I'll find out later. What's over here? There's like what? How much shocker? What heck even is that? No clue. Oh, if they see me, they see me. Okay. Protego! Stupid time! Ah, some of them. Stupid. They're ready to get burned. Uh, not. Ah. Spider fang. Oh yeah, and we're getting health slowly. Nice. Oh, spiders. Okay, I actually think I think that actually gives me XP as well. Revelio. Sweet. Past the ruins. I'm on the right track. Potato. Stupid one. Nice. Sometimes combo. Rebellion. Alright, perfect. Uh, maybe, 
Nee, weer een nieuw zakje, joh. Uh, ja. Ik moet toch weer doen, hoor. Camp, ja. Yeah. Een encampment. Dit moet het Yeah, here we go. So there is kind of stealth to this, but looks as if there's more than one way to enter. Yay, that did everything. Instant deal. Nice. You fall off, stupid. <laughs> Complete the battle in the remaining time. You've been paying attention in defense against the dark after, I see. Well, I'm sorry, I can't help it when some guys get flung outside the arena. That was quite something. Now, to free Arn's carts. <laughs> and one of those guys was... Uh, wait, Rebellion. You. Suppose it could get a bit boring. Accio! Send you! 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 That's fun, actually. What even is this? Let me also. Akio. Who am I bringing this? Free the carts from the encampment. Is that what this is? I don't know. Maybe 
is this? Something. I don't know. I know what I'm looking for. <laughs> Revelio. Is this supposed to be? Ah, chess. Something that's worse than I have. Oh. Yes. Quite an enchantment. The carts are returning to arm. What is this? Now, what's this over here? Wolves. That's, oh, okay. So this was just a thing to fight those guys to get things off of them. But like, ah, yeah, because I, I, need, I needed something for something. <laughs> something for something, yeah. Makes total sense. That's horrible. Off by seven. Down by eight. There's something below me, apparently. Wait, no, it's just the hat. Okay, whatever. Nah, I can cut through the field. How do leaping toasts even do? Revenue. Guess I'll find out later. What's over here? Can you believe me? Rebellion. Hmm. Ooh, I need those guys. Bunch of things. Revelio. Accio. Okay. Well, it has no effect anymore. Revelio. 
shield. Curious as to what this is. Rebellion. No enemies in the air. Thing up there. Something that is worse than what I have. Oh, I, I, it's free money. <laughs> you can say new or free money. So, yeah, I have everything I need to do that. Right. On, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. The ones I faced were determined to make things difficult. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. Hmm. Nice. Perfect. Oh, a bunch of EHP. I'll take Hello, it. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? Well, what can what I... What can I help you with today? What are these? Let's choose. Sell. 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 I hope to see <laughs> you again sometime. Uh, you probably won't. Something going on over here. That didn't really probably would have uh, ended probably horribly. They must have come this way. Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick. <sighs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupefied! I'm beating your butt. Oh, lovely. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Well, what's this? Uh, collectors. Okay, been updated. New type of enemy. And variables. Okay. Weaknesses in certain spells. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm not going anywhere with you. <laughs> <laughs> Rebellion. Get chickens. 
stop that right now. Never. <laughs> Just happened. I've never Rebellion. been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Hmm. What's that? Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has a symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if the Mallow Sweet is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols? Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Okay, so I brought a trunk chock here? full of mallow sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Love. Ah. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Revelio. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Hmm. My word! Oh. Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Incendio! Merlin's beard! Ah. The flames make the pyre sick. Nice. Whoa! Merlin's beard! How beautiful! What a day. I can hardly believe it. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have guessed. even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. <laughs> my guess is that each will also require mallow sweet, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. All right, so fine. And them. do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Yeah, we're safer than out here, I guess. Whoa. <laughs> nice. Ah, a little. 
Oh, thank West. Mm. Oh, Greetings. I understand you're quite the enterprising young Ravenclaw. Professor Fig tells me you found a long lost book for him. I'd like to talk to you about it. Oh, a thousand meters. Okay, I'll do this first. Hello. Uh, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Huh. Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid! Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. Okay. Hmm. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide pistol. My best guess is okay. that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. Hmm. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. East. Uh. Okay. So what? Just. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, game. Sprinting is often the same with every game. Why would I dive? Do I have air? Probably. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. Hmm. Oh, hey, I just found some things. Nice. Ah, oh, finding all sorts of things. Perfect. Ooh. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. <laughs> How are you speaking underwater? <laughs> okay. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought. You can actually like dive, dive down. Fair enough. Huh. Although I did see like some of the gameplay that had more of those, those um, those blue bars, two ones, just above my health. I forget what, I don't even know what to call those. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? <laughs> I did, and I'm keeping it. <laughs> Just for a price, no. I did. 
I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And for my family. You'd do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. Alright. I got hat wear. Oh. Guess it comes down to look looks. Uh, I don't know. Either one's okay. Ah, level fifteen. Oh no, level fourteen. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Okay, so what that's something I can do? Okay, makes sense. So I actually like discover more, more, more and more things. Okay. Ah, so I can just find these around. Where am I going? I'm going to that glitch. Uh, where is it? What? This map is huge. Holy moly. It seems like it's just a bunch of wasted space here. I'm mean, like, come on. Rebellion. Oh. Okay. Uh, see, now I'm curious. Inventory. Can I actually, like, find? I don't have to grow those. Let's see. Uh. Ah, they have to be grown. Okay, good to know. Curious to what, to what this is. Wow. So it's the same symbol. What? What? Oh wait, it has these things on Rebellion. it. Leech juice. Ew. Hmm. Where's the vines on it? Hmm. Rebellion. Incendio. Burn, burn the vines. Okay. Rebellio. Oh, whatever I do, I have no clue. Just seems to just disappear and return here. I don't know. I don't understand. No, Incendio. As soon as I get put it in here. And uh, it doesn't work. 
Yeah. I'm confused. Rebellion. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, whatever. Okay, quests. Ah, I can actually do that now. Look at our map. Oh, it's just here. I can just travel there then. Alright. Nice. Pretty simple. Oh. Okay, you just guys appear in the Good of you to come. My friend, Professor Fig, speaks highly of you and your resourcefulness. He was vague as okay, to details, th this is where, but mentioned you having I tracked down anything. a difficult to find book. I wondered if you'd be willing to do a little detective work on my behalf. <laughs> okay. Of course, Mr. Ollivander. Sounds most up my street. Wonderful. You see, about a century ago, an heirloom applewood wand with a fairy wing core went missing from this very shop. My great aunt suspected a student named Richard Jackdaw. He'd been serving as an assistant here and suddenly vanished. Richard Jackdaw? Like the bird. In fact, he was known to frequent the Hogwarts Owlry. We searched there, of course, but found no wand. We did find a series of statues similar to Jackdaw's. I'm certain they're a clue, but I cannot figure out where they lead. Jackdaw was last heard tittering about some pages with a map he'd stolen from Peeves. As you can imagine, the poltergeist was less than helpful. I'll have a look for you. You've certainly given me plenty to go on. Ah, oh, you've brought hope to this old one-maker's heart. Professor Fig was right. You are a remarkable student. Here. Rebellion. No idea what that is. Oh, yeah, there's another one. There's that chest I couldn't get before. Lumos. Wrong one. Okay. No, fine. Four hundred goins, nice. Perfect. Welcome. Come on in. Now, where was I? Right. Oh, yes. <laughs> I can just buy them. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. You don't have any. Okay. You have a good head for business, haven't you? No one can say right, I don't perfect. keep a stack shelf. Eight hundred meters. Jeez, where's this going? I don't know, hugs me at least. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Travel there. Gives me less distance to walk. <laughs> Goodness. Off on another adventure, are we? Yeah, isn't that like this? If it was, ugh, so, oh God, I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right.
Time for the long walk. Rebellion. What's that? I don't know. Something. I haven't a clue why there's such a fuss over poaching. There's enough beef flesh for everyone. Someone having a pet troll and not much else. That curious. Now where did I set my traps? Was it Lower Hogsfield or Upper Hogsfield? Eat box! Eat barrel! <laughs> What have you done? No! 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 I forgot. A was the other one. Revenue. Uh, Alt. Let's get this over with, shall we? I have things to do. What? Who's talking? I'm gonna get it. Excuse me, talking. Are you, wait, are you one of those? Incendium. That doesn't matter. Accio. Neither does that. That's probably gonna kill me, isn't it? Ah. If well, this was Dynamite too, I'd be able to <laughs> paraglide my way. <laughs> but it's not, sadly. to go around again. Anything right. behind this waterfall? No. Thing, right? Is that what you call it? Oh, just fast traveled here. Oh well. Although then I would have gotten the really good thing. Plus 14, dang. So I can get flying mounts as well as my broomstick. <laughs> it's got three upgrades. Just like the Paragolite in the like too. <laughs> hmm. You can tell I'm obsessed with that game. Even though I haven't played in a while. I didn't even finish the thing on nightmare mode. 
Really, you get like this waltz thing. Which I find pretty cool. Although I doubt I can do it because I wasn't even on a uh, nightmare difficulty beforehand. I get very, very first. So definitely not probably yeah, I'll have to uh Yeah <laughs> I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna have to do that again. It's a bird. The statues yes. Miss Olivander mentioned must be upstairs amongst the owls. Hmm. Mind if I do plus seven. Hmm. Doesn't look as ridiculous. <laughs> now even stronger. I like it. Ah, come on. Don't mind me, Owls. I'm just here to help a friend. Now, where are those statues? Revelio. I recognize <laughs> these handles. The summoning charm should do the trick. Summoning charm? Empty purchase. Could be the right size for jackdaws. Or statues of jackdaws. Accio! <laughs> Nothing. Ah, here's a welcome surprise. I'd best keep looking. This'll do nicely. Yeah, money. No statues here. Huh. Okay. Rebellion. Above me. Birds aren't afraid of heights. Perhaps I should look a bit higher. Yeah. Nothing. My best keep looking. No statues here. Nothing. I'll take that, thank you. Eh. I'd best keep looking. Did not mean to do that. Revelio. What do I do with this thing? Doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Accio. Okay. Wherever that is. What's happening? <laughs> oh, hello. Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done indeed. Good news. If you've got something to hide, you found the perfect spot. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw. So Mr. Ollivander was right. He wants his family wand back. 
goodness. I'd forgotten about that wand. I assure you, I don't have it on me. I'm almost certain I dropped it the moment I was beheaded in that cave. Oh, it was sheer folly to follow that map. What map? Ridiculous, really. Found it on some yellowed old pages Peeves had pilfered. Thought I could impress a girl. But that's a story for another day. So, <laughs> you stole a wand and then followed a map on some pages that you took from Peeves and followed that map to your doom. Odd to hear it all reduced to such absurdity, but yes. Why do you care about some old wand? I don't, really. Ollivander does. It's the pages I'm after. Might they be with the wand in the cave? Indeed. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? I'd be happy to show you where to find them. If that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you there. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, the wand and the pages are yours for the taking. Oh, okay, now I'm just magically down here. All right. Okay, to the for forbidden forest, I guess. Ah, I turn my camera to first. <laughs> ah, what are you doing up here? Okay. Into the forbidden forest. It's locked. Oh, the summer charm. Okay. Oh, for that I need to go to Hogwarts. I can actually learn it now. Perfect. Uh, hang on, I need to track that quest. Perfect. Ah, what are you doing, person? Travel. That'll actually be pretty useful. Everything I had asked Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting right. requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Perfect. Good work. Nice. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. All right. Expelliarmus. You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Okay. Incendio. Nice. All right. Well, that was pretty simple. Uh, world map. One world map, whatever. Special. Nice. I'm going to assume I'm gonna need that. It's requiring me to have it. That's quite annoying, actually.
Rebellion. It's an orc. Oh, yeah. Bug. <laughs> Rebellion. About tongue. Ew. Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> Alright. I actually kind of just want to fight more. My bite is worse than my bark. Well, safe now. Dang. Okay. Interesting. All right. Rebellion. Can you drop something? What if I do? Ooh, you dropped. Ooh, what did you drop? Money? Yeah. Money's good. Ooh. Ooh, what did I just get? Can I assign that to gear? How would I even do that? Yeah, no trait slot applied. I think I just got like a level 2 tree, didn't I? something. Right, whatever. <laughs> Maybe I should just save it. I, I just keep using it as soon as I get it. Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Only a Ravenclaw would travel this far in pursuit of knowledge. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Inframuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. 
Mm. Shall we? Aside so. from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few land. Revelio. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Hmm. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Right, well, there's something level 18. Oh. So bad, really. What is that? Expelliarmus. Accio. Let me Man, I'm trying to press the button. Stupid one. Okay, that's definitely worth it using you. I healed her at one point. I would The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Okay. Why would they send me to something? Okay, I don't understand why these guys are much higher level than I am. Rebellion. Oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. Hmm. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Hmm. Expelliarmus. No. Incendio. Ah. Intramuros. Far from home. 
Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But... <laughs> <laughs> Those lawless will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Doris led me. I keep meaning to press the right button, but I just don't press the button. Because I'm because of the way I'm laying down right now. Just comfortable. Down playing the game. <laughs> All right. I wonder how big this place is. Who knows? They don't even hurt me. Good to know. Expelliarmus. Someone didn't know how many visitors down there. Okay. Two moonstone. Come on if I do. Oh. This game is Revelio. I wonder if any of my spells will help me through this. Times combo. I'll take it. Revelio. Oh. Although now I can actually use this. Wait, no. What was it? Was it gloves? Who was it? It was level. A little higher than I was. A little 15. There you are. For three offense. Oh. Yeah, this looks like a thing for extra loot. incendio. <laughs> Pressing button, I'm dodging, and then just got on it. Okay. It's Jeez, okay. Rebellion. That was a lot of enemies. Ooh. Another hat. Legendary, my dad.
Don't mind if I yes. Plus eleven. Nice. Ooh. Fancy. This is a fancy chest. Ooh, more legendaries. I'll take them. <laughs> Plus six oh, defense. Nice. I am so strong. And so weak at the same time. <laughs> well, at least a higher level, at least. Revelio. I went down here was a good idea. Not much of nice gear. Whoa. If I could uh -huh. summon that platform to me, I could likely get on it. Accio. Four. Rebellion. Oh, nice. Mm. I'm curious, like if I was, um, hmm, what's this one? Talents. Okay. Wonder what that does. Action. That clearly there's nothing. Oh, okay. Rebellion. That looks like there's a chest on it. Action. Oh wait, unless I can just do this. Aha! I could just do this. Well, that at least. More money? This thing? It's a Not chest. A headless skeleton in sight. Hmm. But I may as well help myself to this. <laughs> Might as well, right? Hmm. Ooh. Stupid one. Incendio. Nice. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Hmm, well, cool, they're not over right here. Oh. Uh. You're landing on the floor. Mm, waterfall. Incomplete. Still so kind of incomplete. Rebellion.
Okay. That's where I'm going. Money! I'm gonna get jumped. Rebellion. All right. Okay. Rebellion. Can I see something? No, it's just a window. Okay. Dodge. Ah, her button. An untouched chest. Tarador wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Hmm. It appears so. Revelio. Accio. Hmm. It's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. Okay. Rebellion. Hmm. What's right here? Oh, I know, really. Wait, is this just going backwards? Yes. <laughs> Kill me. Okay. Huh. Okay, this seems kind of harsh. It's a good thing Jack Dodd was down there. It's a good thing I fell down there. Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Back here. I didn't know that's what that meant. I just thought they were kind of broken. Rebellion. Dang. 
This one I had just before is 24 down. Oh my goodness. Put that back then. <laughs> the things. I guess it's just like a side quest. Side side quest. Side area. Good for me. Rebellion. Wait, did I just miss this? Somehow. Incendio. Wow. Okay. Touched chest. Daradol wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Yeah, yeah you said that before. Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Yeah, you keep saying that. <clears throat> Back here. Rebellion. Okay, torches. Enemies. Things. Ooh. This. Is the platform? <laughs> Back here. I just need to press the button once, all I need to do is hold RT. You say the same thing in line again? No, good. Ah. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this. <laughs> you keep saying the same things over and over again. Yeah, I just... Hey. An untouched chest. Nice. Tartal wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Okay, okay, you keep saying the same thing over and over again. Should have kept up with more lines. Uh, oh, these look cool. I won't be punching anyone, but still. There's something in here. Oh, a legendary. Plus eight. Heck yeah. Give me. Ooh. 
Looks nice. <clears throat> Revelio. Okay. Combo thing for it. At least. Those will be very useful. Thank you very much. Oh, where? Oh. So that was just a side thing. Nice. Good amount of loot. There it is. The bridge, it's almost complete. More spiders. These comps got the head of your jacket. Take a rock! Stupid one. What are you? Imagine how these spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. Rebellion. Okay. Ooh. Ah. Nice. Another sweet. Sweet. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Hmm. Okay. I'll need to look around for the symbol. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. The bridge is complete. <clears throat> Ooh, fatty. I must be getting closer to Jackdaw's remains and those pages. Hmm. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Ah, oh, shame. Those splinters must be what's left of Ollivander's wand. At least I can take the pages. Here it is, the map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm, is there something beyond this room? Hmm. Huh. clear, but I got company. Potato! Stupid one! Ah, something. Stupid. 
hat. Oh, uh, so we gonna be tougher than the others. Starting to flood. I can't do anything about it, apparently. Protected. What sort of magic is this? Huh. Okay. Good, but my camera seems to zoom in quite fast. <laughs> I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? Uh, an area? Right, a boss arena. Oh, wait, there's actually one bosses there. Someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. Ah. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Huh. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, talents have been unlocked. Uh, talent point. Ooh. Oh, like skill points, okay. Uh, starting at level 5. Uh, still, oh, okay. Uh, oh. Yep. The wise owl, okay. <coughs> huh, 
so, okay, go away achievement. Um, improve overall effectiveness. Any of the dark arcs. Improve spell casting. Okay. Huh. Combat plants. Oh. Spell knowledge, okay. Oh, okay, so I can... I can have, like, loadouts. Okay. Uh, ancient magic. Okay. Ah, okay. So I got, like, a whole skill tree. Uh... Wait, uh, potato blow, uh... Ooh, wait. Oh, it was like perfect blocks? Okay, so now, now blocking will give me that, okay. We're just spell to one. Ooh, that's a good one. Holding down dodge will... Whoa! Whoa! Okay, but a dodge. Okay. Ah, okay, so I get... Ooh, heal me with a greater effect. That would be very useful. Maybe a level 16 to spend those. Uh, okay, let's see. What's this one gonna do? Now you just sprint. Okay. Uh, let's see, what does this do? Deal damage. Uh, cursed targets. I don't have cursed targets just yet. I don't have cursed abilities just yet. Uh, stupid fight. It's the same effect as a or some enemies. Custom enemies will take increased damage. Ooh. Spelling ammo will have the same effect as cur Oh, okay. So. So then th these ones will be really good. So what's this one do? Oh! That's how I unlock that? Okay. Spells, let's see. Whoa! That's pretty good. I like this one. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Stop moving, stupid stick drift. Duress potion will make you invulnerable. Okay. Ah. Mm. Okay, it's not really that good. So it takes longer? And slower. Uh, what the? Dang. I mean, I guess this would be pretty good. Let me just sprint. That would be really good. Got everything I could in there. I should get this one. And this one. 
Okay. Nice. There's a bunch of points just gone into a bunch of different stuff. That's cool. An achievement. I was spending <laughs> spent five talent points. Exit. Oh, cool. Okay, this is actually starting to get pretty interesting. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? Okay. I don't know, but that seems like a good way to um a good way to okay, I'm not activating anymore. Annoyingly. And it gives me fifteen points. I'm going to I'm assume I'm gonna get more home. points. I wonder when Professor oh. Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Okay. I Give me that. Rebellion. Level one lock. Something up there. <clears throat> You need to learn to pulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks mm. and meet me in my classroom. Okay. What are those? Quests. Okay. Uh, using quite okay. Acquire, uh, and using simultaneous, ugh, simultaneously, okay, whatever, flying class, go flying class, ooh, I got my broom, oh, not immediately, I guess I'll save that for whatever that is, okay, Rebellion. oh, hello, Are you above me and below me or whatever? I can't use it in here. Got all. I'm assuming this is just like a safe area. It is. Another one. Ah, uh, I want that. Don't know how to get that. Ah, I'm going the wrong way. Yay! <laughs> one up, one to go. Ah, you still talking about that other thing? I don't even know what that is. Open. Oh, wait. Hang on. Should be out here. Rebellion. Ah. So there, but I can't get in there. What if I go up here? No, darn it. Oh, hi. I don't know if I just take this. <laughs> uh. Wait. Ah, it's just daytime. Well, kind of. Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. Nice! <clears throat> Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional <laughs> Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it? Now, <laughs> let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. 
For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! <laughs> First try. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. <laughs> okay, come on, get on. You're even gonna make me do it? No. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Okay, how's this gonna control? Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. Ah, the brooms ah, are school I think property. I'm getting the hang of this. I want them returned in one piece. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Okay, um... What, what a place view! Ha! Ah. <laughs> Hello! Ah, oh, nice! Nice day for a flight! Made it! Ha! Oh, did anyone else see that? Nice! Oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. This is nice. This is cool. As soon as I saw it, I was just like, ooh. Get me there. Whoa. Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. Huh. Ah. <laughs> is that one just a square or something? This is rather fun. <laughs> oh, well done. Have a moment. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clopton. So, care to join me for a bit of <coughs> high-flying fun? Uh, Kagawa seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Kagawa won't even notice. Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. Follow me. No. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Okay, yeah. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? I guess so. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff Common Room. You went through that, Just okay. Peek out. A bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. Wow! You sure you're not part hippogriff? Hmm. There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid pretty, architecture, it, it, isn't it? it? Yeah, but it, it's Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. 
This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. How are you saying? Have you two been? Ah. Oh, hello, Professor. <laughs> we were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're I... still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor Enough. Class is finished for the day. <clears throat> As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. <laughs> nice. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Oh, wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to Definitely. test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Definitely. That's, that's nice. Alright, I'm assuming I can just go do that. Am I gonna level up? Seems like a lot of ESP. Oh. Aw. Can I do that, actually? That uh, seems like a thing I want to do, like, right now. Like, right now. What's that? Secret rooms. What? Oh. Ah, wrong one. What did it say? Uh, clothing. Uh, byproducts. Yeah. I think that's what that was. Alright, perfect. Jeez, we're going on for the three hour, almost three hours. Nice. <laughs> Man, I feel like I've been playing a normal difficulty before because I kind of think that kind of ruined it for adventure. me. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Hmm. Ah, new Side quest. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I like <coughs> just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare U weavers oh, yeah. available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Sounds oh, quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. <laughs> what are we looking for today? Right, which one can I get? Ah, oh, can get any of them. Doesn't really do much, really. Uh. Okay. Move stability. I did touch. Ooh. You'll be Beedy. thrilled with I like that, that. I promise you. Ah, I can tell all this stuff. Because no, I don't need it. With you. As I said, we're in. Holding a. I mean, pretty sure they're all red. What 
is this? Why is it grayed out? Is that? Huh? I have no idea what that is. I don't want to sell those just in case. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for Ooh. enchantments, upgrades, if you will, <coughs> that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need Ooh. is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flights to Time trials. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Oh, definitely. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Hmm. I don't mind if I just take that way. <laughs> okay, how do I actually activate the burn? I'm just curious. Hmm. What is this? Uh, unidentified back item. What? I have no idea what that is. Nine? Heck yeah, give me that. <laughs> this is worse. And this. <laughs> oh, eight? Jeez, it's worse. I'm not even high enough level. <laughs> How does this work? How does this broom work? Oh. What's this? Whoa. Like a new fly zone. Makes sense. Uh, flight test, yeah. Yeah, give me those upgrades. Uh, no. That's how that works. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, that's cool. That's like a little thing on it. Oh, so much better than the walking. Trail on it, nice. Hey, you, Ravenclaw. Amelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. 
did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. <coughs> I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique. And that was the end of that. Mm. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom test? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. <laughs> Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Slytherin Quidditch <laughs> captain. Jealous of you? Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, mm, okay. now people think you're competition. <sighs> I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Mm. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Ravenclaw. Oh, yeah. Actually, why not? <laughs> I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. <laughs> wow, well, of course you are. This is rather fun. <laughs> now that's more like it. Ah, okay. Oh. Ah. Okay. That is kind of hard to control. Success. Reduction of six seconds. time I did it in your face <laughs> oh, that's not you, you must have cheated you oh <laughs> Fine. you won don't think this is over you can't determine skill from one single trial surely my win means something eh, you're not terrible but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect challenge accepted then Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. Mm. Nice. All right, yeah. Ah, return. Oh, definitely. Now, now I can get some broom upgrades. Perfect. <laughs> All right. No flying area. Oh, you're back. We've something to report, I hope. Mr. Mm -hmm. Weeks, 
I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Rays must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, yeah. but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Nice. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Yeah, it's kind of a problem. One more requirement. Okay, uh, okay, I should be able to get that from a potion guy, uh, person. <laughs> that old fool? Products, clothing, dog's head. Closer, but I don't know. All right, I actually got like a burn now. It Perfect. To me. Oh, you sound offended. What did I miss? Revelio. And nothing. Oh, chest. Not nothing. <laughs> ah, nice. Begin, whatever. Something. <laughs> Professor Weasley. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Okay. stopped me and I... Merlin's beard! I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. Hmm. Alright, what are you going to teach me? What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble <laughs> upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take <laughs> advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? Hmm. He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use... 
once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Okay, oh yeah. Oh. Why this time? Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Ah, here it is. Transfiguration. Whoa. So I don't need Leviosa for now. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Huh. Let's move on. Yeah, well, yeah I've, I've come across a bunch of that, actually. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Rebellion. Is that goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. Mm. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, oh. Professor. Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Okay. Hmm. Ah, no, that one. Yeah, what's up here? Nothing. What did you say? Oh, wait. Oh, I think I know what to do with it. Yeah. Aha! Ooh, chest. Ooh, stuff. <laughs> I am now level 16. Does that mean... yeah. Ah, one more talent point. Okay. Ooh, now I have a bunch of these now. What's this one? Uh, heals me even more. Uh, yeah, that seems pretty useful, actually. Uh, let's see. Okay, I mean, stone for long periods of time. That could be pretty useful. Whoa! Perfect protect. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, oh! It could be pretty useful. All these could be pretty useful. What's this one? Curse effects mean. Okay, I mean, for one period of time. So, what? Spelling Amos will do that. Stability will do that. Okay, so I can start cursing. <laughs> What's this one? Definio. Uh, displays you. Okay. I can do this one now. Uh, that one could be pretty useful, but, uh. Potency, what's this one? Ah. Focus potion. Ah, okay. I feel like I kind of just want this one, because if I, if I heal more, then that means I can... Yeah, I get this one. Point two. 
Uh, slightly direct damage on impact. I don't know what that means. Uh, perfect potato. Oh, so the okay. So when the whole when the ring closes, so ba ba basically just a perfect parry, perfect block. Okay, I played God of War and all these other games that have parries in them. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Rebellion. Not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Ah, go for it. There. I got the little moonstone. Revelio. Hmm. Huh. How do I get those? Wait. Hang on. I just miss that somehow. Aha! Rebellion. Money. It's just bags of stuff around. No. Rebellion. Money. Money. Money, money, money. <laughs> okay. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Hmm. Nice. Yes. Reve what was that? Was that a golden stitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> Thank you. Rebellion. Revelio. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Search in the bag, search in the bag. Search in the bag. <laughs> yeah, I'm walking. Walking, walking, walking. Did not need to do that. My leg did that. <laughs> I'll glass the one. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deed will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. 
Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. <laughs> now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Okay. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Ah, here we go. Okay, here we go. So what? You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Okay, that's not what I thought that was. What, is it? what did that even do? Oh wait, is this stuff that I lost? See, I, I was thinking it was like a thing to like apply the traits and upgrades, but clearly not. How do I apply traits? Okay. So what, what is it? Just stuff I've lost? I don't know. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope don't you'll even take advantage did. of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Okay. Oops. Oh. Okay, so I don't use the boost and the, the whatever that is. When conjuring does. more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Okay, so... Go ahead mm. and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll yeah. resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Hmm. Okay. So... I need spells. Here it is.
Ah. Okay. Potions. Use the grow plants. Dang. Okay, utility. Enchant items. Ah, here we go. Wall hanging. Okay. Decorations. Ah, oh, okay. So here? Seating tables? Okay. Select. What? What's this one? No clue. Does it really matter? Ah, so I can just place them in here? Okay. There we go. Okay. Perfect. I can just go. Well. well. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Ah. Wait, okay. Identify unknown pieces of gear and their properties. Wait, uh... Okay. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Hmm. Okay. No identify gear. Okay, so I can just craft this type of stuff. Nice. Huh. Oh, okay, so I just have it on me. Okay. Nice. Hmm. Oh, so I can just. Can I just. Get over here before? I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I am a little hungry. I'm sure I have enough. <laughs> I have yep. the Moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? You really want me to decorate things? Okay. Rugs. I got myself a rug. Okay. Just put a rug here, why not? <laughs> and put a table on, I guess. Green. 
Game plan. Okay. Put that there, I guess. Okay, so that's what Moonstone is just used for. Sit perfectly there. Good work. Shall we move on? <laughs> I've conjured okay. everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Okay. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. <laughs> ah, I can change it. <laughs> okay, sure. Oh, just the size. Whoa. I just changed the floor. Okay. <laughs> Just the size of any item. How did I do that? Oh, one. Oh. Uh. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Ah, can't do that. Okay. <laughs> maybe make this one. Oh, maybe, maybe make it smaller. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Huh. Ah. <laughs> now I get it. Ooh. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk ah. to Deke when you're ready. No. Okay. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Uh. What, um. Dark and mysterious. I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Uh -huh. Alright. <laughs> that does look pretty cool, actually. Mm. He's still eating stuff. <laughs> Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. 
The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Mm. Oh, oh. Of course, the book is just flying like a bird. What's happening now? Just opening up. <laughs> okay. Hmm. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to okay. it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. <laughs> okay. Well done. Dink thinks you are doing good work here. One minute. We need uh Ashwander eggs. Where do I get those? Wait, so I wonder. Um I get more things? No clue. No. I'm not gonna complaining okay, what's this one? Wait, ah Shipment. Okay. Uh, purchase from Tom. Wait, wait, tunes? Okay, something. Okay. Twenty something seconds left. All right. Little crap more potions. I wish I could like crap multiple. So you're just crafting one. Destroy a potion, no. Give me that one. Why not? Ah, oh, okay, so it just keeps plant okay. Okay. That's how that's gonna work. Yeah, we'll need one more. I don't know if the yield was more, though. I think 15 should be enough. And that takes every 10 minutes. Okay. Pretty simple. Hmm. Wait, no. Uh. Can I just make more of those, actually? I can. I mean, like, different variants of them. This will be pretty useful, actually. Green, of course, my favorite color. <laughs> green. Of course. And then I can have these like make different things. But for now I can just have them make this. And I can have multiple. All I would just need is to get the other stuff. Perfect. Alright, nice. I think that is where I'm gonna leave this stream here, though. Uh, yeah, this game is getting really interesting now. <laughs> I should probably go get the other thing, right? I don't know. 
I forgot to go get it. <laughs> oh, 10 minutes is just kind of weird. Most of it is just like every 10 minutes, so you just come back here and then just get all this stuff. If I remember to get, <laughs> if I remember to do things. Alright. Well, I hope you enjoyed. You guys can go check out the rest, well, my past um, time when I played this uh, on, my, on my YouTube channel at The Flash Live Gaming. If you cannot find it, there's a link in my bio. But anyways, check it out anyways, because it's like barely even watching. Yeah. Anyways, I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you all next time.